Hello, welcome back. This is Maurice Dimba. And today we are proceeding with the further development of this particular model. And today I want to show you how we can create a lean concrete underneath the column bases and uh, the tie beams, as you can see here. So lean concrete, sometimes people, some, 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 some people call it blind, blinding or a lean concrete. Whichever works for you, let's see. But it both means the same thing. Now let's create one, and uh, we'll look for the tool that will help us in creating that lean con uh, lean concrete underneath the column bases and uh, the tie beams. And prior to proceeding with that, let us first of all rectify this. And uh, and at staircase void, let me first of all activate the the cut uh, symbol. So. If I zoom close, you'll be able to see there's some cut, there's some uneven cut here. So we want to get rid of this step. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to activate the cut symbol, then double click inside there. So I'm going to uncheck this. So if I uncheck this and uh, enter on my, on my keyboard right there, I'll be able to get rid of that step there. So it will be clean or, or cut, a, a neat cut like it is, that it should be. Let me activate that and double click in here and then check that and enter on my keyboard and uh, that's it. Now, back to creation of lean concrete or blinding. Now I'll come to foundation here. Then under foundation, I have variety of tools here. I have quite a number. This is this eight and we have, we have 11 here. So this is a lean concrete you want to create. You can see even the symbol indicates that it's, uh, it's underneath the column base or pad footing. So let me just click on it. So then once I click on it, I want to I want first of all see how the setting dialog box looks like. So I just press shift and right click or just click right click and uh, this will appear. So there's some adjustment if you need, you can just go ahead. You can see the thickness of this link concrete you can either mostly it's given a hundred millimeter thick and also 100, 100 millimeter thick and 100 millimeter extension both sides. So let's just retain it at, at a default level. So what I'm going to do, I'm going first of all to select everything here. I want to put this in a position that I'll be able to select everything. So to put it in that position, just double click on the screen and come to rotation here and change everything to, change, change this to 90 and change here to zero, then click Okay, so if you click OK, everything will be seen in that section. So this will help me select the parts that I want to place uh, the lean concrete on or blinding concrete. So that's it. So I'll come to lean concrete and click lean concrete. You can see. So the moment I click on that, let me first of all undo that. So I'll select everything here, including the the tie beams, I'll select that. So once I've selected that, I'll turn it into a position that we'll be able to see everything. So underneath the uh, tie beams and the column bases is where I want to place uh, the lean concrete or blinding concrete. So once I've selected the parts I want to place the lean concrete on, I'll just go ahead and click lean concrete tool right there. So if I click that, you'll be able to see uh, a slight, um, um, uh, uh, a thin concrete is placed underneath the, uh, the column bases that is a uh, lean concrete or a blinding. So I want to add or add or place uh, other others under the tie beams. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, go to edit. I'll come to under selection here. So under selection, I'll pick with the same color and I want to select these beams with the same color or with the same property. So I'll just select one and everyone, all the all the tie beams get selected. So I want to place link concrete on those, on, on these on these tie beams. So I'll just go ahead and just click link concrete. So if I click that, I'll be able to see I have my link concrete in place. So that's how you can create link concrete or blinding underneath your column bases and the tie beams. So that's how you quick you can do it. Unless other programs you can just just go back back and forth to create that such simple thing. 
So this is how you can create and it's as simple as it is. Now, let's meet then on the next on the next presentation on further uh, addition of other components or of other of other of other members in this particular uh, model. So let's meet then. Bye bye. This is Morris Limba, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And bye bye.